Hi there and welcome to JCB Tools. My name is Adrian and today we're going to look at this 21-CS1500. So the CS circular saw, 1500 watts. So I'm going to open the box, lay the contents on the table so you can see exactly what you get. So first of all we have the head unit itself with its power cord. Secondly we have this Allen key which is included which is for changing blades. We have the fence and finally we have the user manual. Now I do recommend that you read the user manual thoroughly before use. So first of all, how to fit the fence. We do have uh, various graduations on it and it does fit quite neatly into a hole in the side here, right through the machine and locks off to the appropriate width using the little hand wheel at the front here. Now if you're removing or replacing this, always switch it off at the mains. So as we said earlier, it does come with an Allen key and that's for removing the blade. Again, make sure we're unplugged from the mains whenever we're doing this sort of thing. So obviously the blade will rotate and I can't loosen it. But you will see on the front of the machine here, a little locking tab. You push it in and then it locks the whole spindle of the motor, allowing you to undo the screw in the middle to change blades. Typically we'd have this set up at zero degrees straight. But there is the capability on this machine to set up a tapered cut anywhere between zero and 45 degrees. So that's the option here on this knob, so that if I lock it off here, that would lock it at 45. And again, I can bring it back down, square it up with a square, and then lock off in the upright position. So we have a tab here, which loosens and tightens off the depth of the cut. So if I was to loosen it off, I'll just rotate it off the bench. As you can see now, I can alter the depth of the cut right down to maximum depth, or right up to minimum, and to lock it in position, once you've set the depth of cut you want, you can simply pull that tab back and it'll lock it in position at the depth of cut that you require. So, you'll see here on the front, this little window, and if I switch the power onto the machine on the wall here, you can see it'll illuminate. So that will tell you that you've got power connected to the machine and obviously not to do any work on it. As I said earlier, if you're going to do any work on it, clean it or what have you, always switch off the power at the mains and ideally remove the plug. So I'll just switch it back on again. One more feature on this machine, this button here on the front turns on the laser line. Okay, so as you can see, the laser line comes out from here and will give you the line of cut. So to switch the laser off again, simply push the button to turn it off. So trigger mechanism here, uh, obviously it's got a lock on it, you need to push the button and then pull the trigger. Okay. Whenever you release the trigger, it doesn't lock in position, you release the trigger. And again, you can't inadvertently pull it unless you push the button. So for dust extraction, this machine does feature a vacuum point here, so you can fit a vacuum on to keep all that nasty dust out of the way. So okay, as you'll appreciate, this can be a very dangerous piece of equipment, so we do strongly recommend that you take all precautions necessary and wear all the appropriate PPE when using a machine such as this. Well, I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit jcbtools.co.uk. I've been Adrian, and thank you for watching.